All right, what I have here is my 99 GMC Sierra 1500 pickup, and the horn doesn't work. Been out for a couple of years, actually. I should have got it fixed before this, but um, I got the time to look into it now. It working, it was working great. I've had it for five, six years, working great when I first got it. And then it slowly started, uh, wasn't working on the right, a little bit on the left, and then it was pretty intermittent, and then it finally just stopped altogether. So I'm pretty sure it's in here. Um, but the first thing I'd recommend you do come up here under the hood, pop this panel off. That gains you access to the relays and the fuses that are under the hood here. And this is actually the relay for the horn. And what you can do is if you press the horn down and you would hear some clicking here. And if you don't hear clicking, then this relay might be your problem. And the fuse for the horn is actually this one right here. And I have pulled that out and everything looks fine that way. So we know the problem is not here. So being the problem is behind the wheel, next thing I'd recommend is pulling this panel off of here, which gets you access to more fuses. And what you want to find on here is this one right here for the airbag. And you can go ahead and pull that fuse out because we're going to be messing with the airbag and you don't want that thing to be deployed while you're screwing around up in here. Now what we need to do is turn the wheel at a 90 degree angle so the top of the wheel is facing the passenger side. That'll give you access to this rectangle rectangle shape piece back here, which you'll need to access next. Now that you've got your steering wheel turned, you want to take a small flat screwdriver, stick it in back here, and then you want to pry up as you pull back on this cover. There, I got it. So you want to skim across, kind of across the top here. You don't want to go down. It's kind of in the middle of this rectangle, but if you want to go towards the top and pry down, then she pops up. Now we want to go the other way. Got it. Let's see what we got. All right, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the airbag. use a screwdriver and pop that thing out and now the airbag is free so you want to make sure you set that somewhere where nobody's going to get to it now what you're going to want to do is get these guys out of here t30 star bit as you might want to call it Uh -oh. It's 
kind of crazy. Now we know we're getting we're getting to the right spot when that happens, I guess. I guess I better disconnect this little spring here. Should have probably done this first. Push in counterclockwise and pull her out. That's the actual contact that makes makes everything work. You want to make sure when you put them back that they go in this way. Don't swap them. They got to go in this way. They are right and left sensitive. Now these are the guys we really want to get at. Looks like a T20 bit on that. Guess with the horn going off like that confirms my suspicions a hundred percent that the problem is here obviously the horns working so now I want to take these four clips here these four copper connections we're gonna use some sandpaper and uh, get them nice and shiny that's all you really need a little bit of corrosion on here. I'm also going to take these guys, sand that little knob down a little bit too. Now we can go ahead with the reinstall after everything's been sanded down. Okay, contacts in. Go ahead and put these back in now. And we got nothing. Take a little bit of sandpaper too and I'm gonna just sand the top of that connection. Now we'll insert it.
that was the key. That was the key right there, is the top of that spring. Because it wasn't working, but once I sanded that, bingo, we're in business. All four corners are working. Now we just gotta put her back together. Just gotta take this and uh, snap it right back in there. There it is. Line up your pins. You just got to put the fuse back in to reactivate the airbag and then we are golden uh, Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out See ya